हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ वीरेंद्र सिंह वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्मार्ट लर्निंग एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सीक्वेंस सिमिलैरिटी लेट सी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आइडेंटिटी एंड सिमिलैरिटी आइडेंटिटी मीन्स द रेजिड्यूज मस्ट बी द सेम आइदर इट इज न्यूक्लियोटाइड और द अम्यूनो एसिड रेजिड्यूज दिस मस्ट बी सेम इन द क्वेरी सिक्वेंस एंड द कंपेयरिंग सिक्वेंस फॉर द सिमिलैरिटी द बोथ रेजिड्यूज must be similar nature that is property must be the same or near about same that is uh, like you can say basic amino acid uh, like arginine or histidine similar to the lysine acidic glutamate is similar to the aspartate neutral amino acid similar to the neutral amino acid like like leucine is related uh, similar to the isoleucine similarly for the nucleotide also adenosine is similar to the guanosine because it is a purine and cytosine is similar to the thymine or uracil because it is a pyrimidine you can understand uh, the concept of identity and similarity by the following example let's see the example this is the example uh, came into the gate biotechnology 2014 paper you can see here peptide 1 sequence is given alanine alanine arginine aspargine tryptophan leucine threonine phenylalanine threonine ly lysine isoleucine methionine serine and spartate you here is the peptide 2 sequence and total number of amino acid is 15 and total number of identical amino acid identical amino acid means same that is here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so here 9 is identical residues that so you can uh, calculate identity percent by dividing the identical residues divided by total residues into 100 that is 60% for the similarity percentage just calculate the similar residues which possess the similar properties that is 9 is identical yes it is identical plus similar here you can see similar is de also similar tryptophan and tyrosine is similar and threonine is serine because it is alcoholic amino acid it is aromatic amino acid and it is acidic amino acid so these are 12 similar amino acids so you can calculate easily the similarity percentage by total number of similar residues and total number of amino acid into 100 that is 80% it refers to the resemblance or similarity between the two sequences between two organism being a common ancestry the homologous gene by, uh, can be divided into two parts orthologous and paralogous the two genes are said to be orthologous when it is diverges from the speciation event and when when two genes diverges from the duplication event then it is known as paralogous you can understand from these examples that is here it a common ancestry of rat and mouse the rat gene 1 and rat gene 2 is separated by the duplication event but the rat gene and the mouse gene here the rat gene and the mouse gene is separated or diverges by the speciation event that is by mutation so if two species are diverges from the mutation then it is known as orthologous and when it is diverges from the duplication that is rat g1 gene 1 rat gene 1 and rat gene 2 it is paralogous and rat gene and mouse gene is orthologous what is the twilight zone if homology percentage or similarity percentage is greater than 25% then it is come into the homology modeling zone when homology percentage is less than 25% then it's come in twilight zone let's discuss the pattern it describes any short contingent stretches of protein dna using regular expression here is a example given that is da dy dl ds dy em you can see for the first number d is the continuous expression here a l y s t h variations of amino acid you can see here it is x it is d e d e so only d e is present here y s m t k i so it is x 
सो हाउ कैन यू जनरेट अ पैटर्न फ्रॉम डिफरेंट प्रोटीन और डी एन ए सिक्वेंसेस द करली ब्रैकेट रिप्रजेंट एनी अम्यूनो एसिड एक्सेप्ट दो प्रेजेंट इन दिस ब्रैकेट इफ हियर डी इज प्रेजेंट देन इट कैन बी ऑल अम्यूनो एसिड एक्सेप्ट डी डैश इज यूज फॉर द सेपरेटर X represents the any amino acid here. The square bracket represents any of the amino acid present in the bracket. It is the reverse of this curly bracket. That is either D or E. This bracket represents the repetition. If n is there, that is n time repetition. If n m comma n is there, that is minimum m times and maximum n times repetition is there. less than symbol represents the start of the sequence and greater than symbol represents the end of the sequence let's discuss the scoring matrices scoring matrix is used to compare the two sequences it is used to calculate the score it is used to calculate the similarity scores when you compare two sequences or more than two sequences mainly two scoring matrices is used for the similarity search first one is pam percentage accepted mutation and second one is blossom that is block substitution matrix pam is designed by the m dehoff it represents the percentage mutation or you can say evolutionary time one pam represents the one percentage of mutation that is one percent residues have changed over the time during the course of evolution pam directly represents the differences between the sequences and blossom represents the similarity between the sequences just note down this pam rep represents the differences and blossom represents the similarity between sequences the block substitution matrix or blossom is derived by the hanikov blocks represents the conserved region having no gap blocks represents the conserved region having no no gap it is derived from the blocks database used for the local alignment what is local and global alignment local alignment is when you compare the some stretches of the sequences that is local alignment and when you compare the whole genome or whole length of sequence then it is global alignment blossom represents the similarity of the alignment when the number of blossom matrix increases it represents the higher similarity that is blossom 50 is 50% similarity 60 is 60% 62 is 62% similarity 80 represents the 80% similarity the blossom 62 is the default matrix for the blast blast is basic local alignment search tool it is the tools for the local alignment the higher pam matrix can be calculated by this pam1 and pam1 give rise to pam2 matrix if you want to calculate pam10 matrix then multiply the pam1 matrix by 10 times similarly if you want to calculate pam n matrix then this is a formula pam1 to power n here is very important representation is given just remember this representation when the similarity is high then the number of pam is low and the blossom is high for the higher similarity pam1 is used and blossom 80 is used for the moderate similarity pam 10 is used and blossom 60 is used higher differences or very low similarity pam 250 is used and blossom 50 is used you must remember this representation this is very helpful for the various examination thank you for watching my video please do like and subscribe for more updates thank you